background, you know, and you know, like we always say, you know, people say, why do you have blocks? Because I can't. So, you know, as we always say, right? You know, I grew up two days here because uh, Kyle wanted to help me get some bottles of can the other day. I said, I can't do it. 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 I can't so I asked this guy, you know, is it uh, Caribbean or Caribbean? You know, when I was down in St. Thomas, living there the first time. We, and I've been back for a year, so it's a one-year anniversary for back to the Caribbean, back in the USA. He said, it's, it's not, either one. I go, well, what is it? He said, it's Caribbean. Okay, so it's Caribbean. That's how he said it, right? Yes, I can. Everything last month. Oh, yeah. So, you know, it's like, Peter, Andy, what can we do? And I was like, oh, Peter and Andy. You know what I'm saying? They're like, what happened, my son? You go mock me at them. And I say, oh, Hurricane Hugo made me rich because they robbed all the jewelry stores during, <laughs> during the riots, right? And they say, the block is on Phuket. I can't translate that one, right? I mean, King Airy. This one guy, his name's David. He's walking down on my street. In my street, there was a, you're not allowed to be on. That's just so bad. You can come back into my neighborhood. But I live here. I got to come in. I'm walking in, and this kid David walks straight up to me. I move. He walks straight to where I move again. So he breaks my nose. It's like, whoa. You know what the problem is? So I, I follow him back to see where he lives. I didn't know he had a gun, right? So this kid, I follow him back to find out where he lives. And then I go to the hotel. The next day, he's arrested for uh, this guy. He tried to kill this guy. Attempted murder and robbery. He, he got one hour. He's out on bail for 100 bucks. His, his grandma worked for the court. <laughs> so they let him go. Tipped him murder, hundred bucks. All charges dropped, you know. So, and then, so, uh, and then David, uh, this other guy, white guy in the neighborhood, we're the only two white guys in the neighborhood. Like we all look alike, right? He's from Port, Port, he's Portuguese, right? He's from Portugal. He comes up, he goes, "What's your name?" And I go, "Tyler." And he goes, "Oh, I almost got shot because of you." I go, what do you mean? He goes, "This guy, David." He goes, "What's your name?" He Tyler. He goes, no, he goes, Tyler. No, okay, you can go. And he shot him in the calf. This was fucking way, right? So, and then. Yeah, I know there was like a BMW and a hey, they were trying to do a drive by. They never did, so I forgot. So I was like, ah, that's it. So, uh, you know, I, without further ado, we're gonna we're gonna introduce um, Roland uh, Martinez, uh, radio personality, right here on camera three. Welcome to the show, Roland. Thanks for coming on. I ain't got nobody. Nobody's got a body in for me. <laughs> How you happened? doing, Tyler? What happened, what happened here? What happened to your body? Well, you know, they say that the camera adds on a few pounds, so I thought I'd go on this diet. Oh, yeah, I took this nice, very diet, and now I lost all the weight that I had. You yeah. see a little bit of my cheeks, but, you know, that's going to go away pretty soon. You have a good face for radio. I have a great oh. face for radio, yeah. I used to model for work gloves, boots. Right. Socks, I'll do that every now and then too. What, what number are you on on the dial? We're 91.3. KSBY is Sonoma. 91.3? Yeah. Sonoma. I like that. Get the, the radio voice is pretty smooth. I like the radio voice. How long have you been doing this? The chicks dig it. Uh, I've been doing it for a few months now, ever since uh, December or so. Really? Co hosting with uh, Diana Dawn and Some Like It Hot. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I, I've seen her before. Wasn't she on TV? She was. She was yeah. here on this station, as a matter of fact. It looked like Marilyn Monroe or something. Marilyn Monroe, yeah, that's right. Yeah, the Marilyn Monroe kind of theme going on that's for a right. while. She had me doing Elvis the whole time. It was his birthday on the air. Is that right? Every time she spoke to me, I had to do some Elvis. Yeah? Yeah. <coughs> I asked the lion knife. Okay, mom. Okay. Oh, take me one of them there, Nana Bologna sandwiches there, mom. I asked the lion knife. He may be my third cousin, but you're looking good to me, baby. Oh, yeah.
Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> Sonomasun.com. 
Sonoma Sun. Sonoma Sun. Dot com to get yes, S U N to get directly to the station info. Right. But if you're on a smartphone, you can go to your your iPhone or or Android, and uh, you can uh, you can look it up on TuneIn. Dot com in the Google Play Store. Again, it's a free app. There is a paid version for ninety nine cents, but all that the only difference it allows you to record. Um, and so I have that, so I can come so I can record my own shows because I'm that vain, you know. Of course, but, yeah. So, um, uh, but the uh, TuneIn.com, you get there, you just punch in uh, Sonoma Sun FM 91.3, it'll get you right there to it. You can listen to any of the shows at any time on there. And if you have your own favorite radio station, like me, sometimes I'll have barbecue or so. I feel like listening to some music from home, from Texas, and I'm like tune into a station there and just listen to that, just like if it's here in town, you know. Boy, So I 
we're in downtown in uh, in uh, the plaza area. The Lone Star? It is, yeah. yes. And, of course, I'm wearing it there. And somebody, I don't know if they were joking or just being sarcastic. I'm wearing it. I'm just, I'm alone. So I'm standing there in the middle of nowhere listening to music. People, oh, nice shirt. And the way I got the uh, the feel, the vibe from when they said that was uh, like a, you know, oh, nice shirt, butthead, you know, or something like that. You yeah, know, like right. whatever. So this one guy, he's kind of tipsy. He comes over to me. He's got a backpack. He's got an Indiana Jones hat on. Hey, uh. I say you got it. That's Texas, right? And I go, yeah. He goes, uh, that's the that's the the star that was on the flag for the Republic of California well before, you know, and all that. And he's like yelling at me with this, you know. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I stole the star. I'm like, you want it back? I mean, you know, it's not a sheriff badge or something, right? And um, and so he goes. Well, let me tell you the whole story. So he starts telling me the whole story. I did not know that Sonoma was the original capital of California for, what, a week or something like that? I know Benicia was for about a week, too. Y'all have to make up your mind. I, I, know, know. I didn't even know about the Sonoma one. Uh, yeah, I was, it wasn't it was now, the Capitol building. It's like Sacramento now, right? Yeah. I mean, they should Benicia has, still has the Capitol building, too. You know, being from Texas, we don't hear a lot about California other than the movies and riots and I games. Or, you know, but I, mean, I always thought the capital was Los Angeles, you know. <laughs>
personality in the chat room is a little different from what it is in person. I'm a little goofball in there, so it's my release, I guess. You know. And you have an email? The email? The email? The email? Yeah, Gmail. Gmail, you said? Gmail, yeah. Uh, Neelix1, the number one. Neelix, the number one. Yep. Uh, you can get a hold of me on there if you're in the local area, I guess. Uh, if you have uh, any kind of bug you're writing or if you're a, a personality as well, you want to come on the air with us and see why. why. Come through me and I'll pass it to Deanna, the, the host, and uh, we can set up a time and a day for you to be there, you know, and uh, show your wares, I suppose. You know. I have a book that I'm writing, but I, I haven't hooked my computer up to the internet yet. It's stuck in the computer, right? Stuck in the computer. And I haven't hooked the printer up yet, so it's not going anywhere. Well, That's you know, right, you know. There is the old-fashioned typewriter, so, you know. Yes, well, this is keyboard. <laughs> I guess yes. that happens. Well, come on. Yeah, come on over. Yeah, well, right. we'll be glad to have you on. Yeah. Yeah, that, you Definitely. So do you have any role models? Or is it like the... Uh, what role you know, models? Wow. Role? The knee? Or, you know, it'd be mostly music. Yeah. Musical. Um, right. Growing up in San Antonio, of course, you know, we had George Strait there forever. You know, he's, he's uh, from Pearsall, Texas, but he has a home in San Antonio. Uh, it would be people like that. Uh, just uh, uh, mostly actors, actually. You know, I'm really big into sci-fi. I mean, you know, I like sci-fi, too. Yeah, yeah like Star Trek. I love that. You yeah. know, um, for days cool. Yeah, so, I mean, it, it would be, you know, just things like that. People who uh, really can make me laugh are role models. Right. You know, and um, inspire me because my, my favorite phrase is I love to see you smile. Anything I can do to make anybody smile or laugh or even just feel good about themselves, I love doing it. I'm a songwriter also. I write, I play guitar, you know, and um, do it like, like hurry. Don't say that. Don't say that. Don't say it. He's watching. Oh, is he? Right. Is he really? All right, okay. So, uh, sorry. No, I was just saying, is it hurry? <laughs> Move the thing to the left a little, please. Get another note out of that. I always just want to, like, no, we'll go there and tap it. You know? we'll, we'll, we'll sure you we're just saying, like, you know, sometimes when I got a harmonica that was in my desk here. Oh, and we're just saying, like, some people, they play, like, burning, burning. And then we're doing an outcome. They don't go left and right. It's a... You can you can install those in, in a you can install those in hospitals right and as breathing <laughs> just to see if they're still breathing. That's how it hurts. How did you take? Well, just one. Just one. <laughs> so I was like in a comatose state, and you know, and most of our most of our guests, you know, are you know they stay in comatose state and they stay in the open. Yeah. Your know, wife. You know, I was at this restaurant down around the corner and. Uh, they gave me a, a crown. I felt like, wow, a king. You know, they actually gave me this. Ah. Uh, they come with me. So I thought, well, that's pretty cool. I mean, Sire. How many restaurants can you go to? They just give you a crown. You, you should wear that. Like a king. You should wear that. Let's wear it home. Yeah, yeah. Put some foil on it. Make it a little more. I'll get more. pulled over again. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to rolling. <laughs> hey, 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 back to me. So you got any that you want to promote right now that are coming up? Or any, uh, any if you're in the area, goals out there? Yeah, <laughs> 
they have any? Do you have oh, any Texas, Texas jokes? Texas? Yeah, I'm. Mean, I'm interested to hear. I just got that Freddie Fender one. That's the only one. That's like. Kind of there's not like what did the Texan do when he like? Oh yeah, yeah. These two Texans were on the Golden Gate Bridge, right? And, they, and he goes, I gotta go pee because I didn't He goes, man, he goes, this this water's cold, huh? And the other guy goes, yeah, it's deep too. I remember that. Are we clear? So we'll probably mute our 